Right boys, welcome back to another video and welcome to another episode of AG Cousins Football Manager. So, basically, the recap from the streams this weekend, lads. We've played a lot of fixtures. Um, so, you've seen last time we got through pre-season. We finished with the game against Warrington, I believe, on camera, I think, in this you know, in a video, and we won 2 1. So, this weekend we got in to the competitive games. We beat Merthyr in the FA Cups um, second qualifying round. It was a tough start to life in the league. Bradford PA beat us 3 0. Um, so, that was a tough result. Um, we then beat Alfred in town 1 0 at home, which is brilliant. York knocked us out of the FA Cup um, at the third qualifying round, so we didn't get too far. Hereford was a 2-1 loss as well at home. Gateshead, we bounced back with a 2-1 win, and it was a 1-1 draw with Chorley. A 3-1 win against York. Um, there was a couple, I think York was one of them. Um, possibly Chorley, and possibly Guisley as well. We simmed a couple of these games, and certainly against the likes of York and Guisley, our tactics for those games when we simmed them was not play for the draw, but settle for the draw. You know, if you get a draw, take it, but don't go and, you know, sit back and only play for the draw. That's not the kind of football I want to play. Um, Telford, yeah, um, they gave us a 1-0 loss. Bounced back against Gloucester, 1-0. 3-2 loss to Fylde. A 0-0 draw with Kirsten Ashton, or with Kirsten Ashton, which was disappointing. Um, but then we got a big win against Brackley. And then Coles Hill in the FA Cup, um, or I'm sorry, the FA Trophy, second round. Um, we actually got a 3-2 win. We went 3-0 up in that game. Um, so pretty annoying that we let in two goals in the end although I did um, rotate the team a lot for that game um, you can see DeMonte in goals Turner you know Stacey at left back Stacey's got a bit of a run at left back though and um, Charlton had an injury there for a couple of weeks Skulls Beard coming up from the reserves same with Watson um, I think Watson actually broke the record for the youngest player ever to play in the FA Trophy. And then Clark up top with two goals, you know. I have to apologise to Clark because I had been playing him left mid for a while. Um, just the way things were going. Ollie Scott was injured for a while. Um, for some reason, rather than starting Russell... Russell coming off the bench as a super sub. I just didn't go for it. We did sign Darius Palmer in between. I'll go through transfers in a minute. Um, I was I was putting Clark um, as a left mid. But, you know, every game I played him, he must have played four or five games there. And every game was just the assistant manager saying, look, put him in a more familiar position. He's not a left mid. He can play left, um, like calm, um, you know, left attacking mid, but not just as a left midfielder, as you can see there in his map. Um, and yeah, I just, I decided, you know what? <laughs> I've waited five games. It's stupid for me. I'm gonna listen to the to the advice now, and I've changed him back to a striker. He is training again as specifically as a striker and we put him in for the game against Coles Hill in the FA Trophy and he scores twice so you know fair play to him <clears throat> fair play to him um now transfers um David Collins um we've agreed to let him go 19 year old striker or winger slash striker not really going to be using him too much um, but transfer history, some stuff has been happening. So, um, Bickley came in, of course. I think we saw that in the last episode. Possibly Stacey. 
We did get in Cooper, Nathan Cooper, and Darius Palmer came in from Curzon Ashton. We got Nathan Watson in from Rotherham on a free, which I think, you know, I'm pretty, pretty happy about that one. And then Oshin McCrudden, centre midfielder, um, he has come into the side or into the club as well. You can see um, here he is. He's available for loan. Um, we are happy to let him go out on loan, but I've put him in the reserves and. You know, he's not too bad. 17 years old. I think there's room for him to grow. Um, 100%. And then this is Nathan Watson we got in. Again, very, very young player. Um, in fact... Yeah, no. He's... We can't send him... We can't put him up for loan yet. But, you know, 16 years old. Threw him into the reserves and... He's another one, I think. He's just going to have that room to grow. So, I think today we'll maybe go for Kidderminster. And it looks as though the FA Cup third or the FA Trophy third round is going to come up in this episode. So, we might also play through that today, lads. But that's basically the recap. That's where we are at the minute with the team. So this is where you can see Nathan Watson, the new signing, obviously. Um, we did play him in that FA Trophy game and he broke the youngest ever player record. Um, 16 years, 240 days. So that was good. Um, the Kidderminster Scouting Report, what are they saying? We don't seem to, yeah, you know, they lack natural fitness. That's all well and good, but... Um, you know, we don't, it doesn't help us, you know, so we can actually watch the draw here, um, there's 65 teams left, so we'll go for a wee while until we see ourselves. Or we could actually just go automatic draw. Barnett against Eastbourne Borough. Ebbs Fleet. This is actually quite class, you know. This, this is kind of cool. Didn't know we could do this. Bradford PA against Notts County. Mad to see Notts County down in the National League. Like, um, give us a good draw. Come on. Concord. Um, come on. At least give us someone at our level. So a National North or a National South. Um... I don't know why the National South strikes me as, you know, a lower level than the North. I feel like the North teams are just a bit better. But South Shields, I would take that. Not going to get them. Nope, not getting, not not out yet. Curzon Ashton would be interesting. Don't get them. Um, I know they're literally on the same level, but I just feel like the teams are a wee bit better. Berkhamstead, I'd take that. Berkhamstead and Stafford, like, Corinthian Casuals, chipping on. I'd love one of the non-league teams, I really would. Watch us be the last team to come out here. Watch us be the last team. Bath City, wee bit of a rivalry there. We don't get them, though. Hyde would take them. I really, really want the non-league side, you know. Farsley or Bedworth, interesting, they must have a replay um, to play, there's only nine teams left, like, File, Edgy Cousins, oh my days, away to File, yes, they're, they're in our, they're in our league, but, you know, that's quite annoying. That's quite annoying. So we get filed in the FA Trophy. It's not going to be an easy game. It's not going to be easy at all, lads. So a quick update on the reserves. You know, they've lost to Notts County Reserves. Um, you can see the kind of players. You know, you can see Joe Stacey in there. Oshin McCrudden, the new signing. Um, Nathan Watson. Um, Jamie Clark all down in the reserves Skulls Beard um, to get 
you know, to get game time. You can see the table on the right. Reserves are bottom of the leg. The reserves are dog poo, um, clearly. But you can see we're a new club, you know. Um, so the scout re or the the report for the game against Kidderminster, you know, obviously they're clear favourites. Um, still have to make sure they do a professional job against part timers, A.G. Cousins. Um, we have been playing above expectations. It has to be said said um you know we were likely to get relegated this year or be in the battle at least and we just haven't been it's brilliant um so edgy cousins youth intake preview this is interesting one of our defensive midfielders has the potential to go far we have one good welsh defensive midfielder from wrexham who's caught the eye this is an excellent group of players coming through um we don't have any great numbers in any single position there aren't any new wide midfielders, attacking midfielders hard to find and haven't got any wing backs. So that's something I'll maybe take a more in-depth look at on stream. But here's what I'm going to do, lads. Kidderminster are fourth, right? Um, and what we've been doing on stream is we've been deciding the teams who are up there we're not going to jump into them. We're going to skip the results and we're just going to apply a certain tactic because for a start it's been working and, you know, we don't want to jump in and, you know, mess anything up. We want to focus on games, controlling games that we know we should be going out and getting a result in. Um, we don't want to waste time playing games. There's a good chance we're going to get battered until at least we get in to the top seven. Because I think there's actually a chance we could go for playoffs this season. So here's what we're doing. Instant result. And the match plan is going to be settle for a draw. Right? Don't You'll notice play for a draw is there. We're not playing for the draw. We're not parking the bus. We're just settling for a draw. Right? We're just... Hopefully we, take, we get the draw and we take the draw. Um, that's the way we're kind of playing. And then the FA Trophy match, we will go into ourselves. I might make one or two changes simply because it's a cup game. Um, obviously, we're playing a 2-2 draw. Now, we're 1-0 up at half time. Um, and actually, Levy Amanchi has scored in the 91st minute to get us that point. But we're 10th. And look at the table. You know, three points off 7th. Kidderminster comfortable in fourth so edgy cousins lucky to draw it doesn't matter though we got the draw and that's why we're using those kind of tactics so we're gonna pick the team here um for this game in the FA trophy but I'm gonna go for a few changes um so Turner's gonna come in Stacy is gonna come in. I'm gonna start Russell. Um, I'm gonna start Nathan Watson. I think he deserves it. And then I'm gonna start Jamie Clark up top. Um, and then we will bring, let's bring Skull's Beard on the bench. And then let's also bring, there's someone else I was thinking of bringing. In fact, I think we'll just bring Charlton. And that's, that's the side we're going to go with. Um, so a couple of changes. Watson getting game time, Stacey, Clark, Skull's Beard on the bench because, you know, he impressed you know he impressed in the last round of this obviously the last round was a lot easier Coles Hill now we have filed but hopefully we can do it it would be nice it would be very nice to get a big win here so let's see there's always someone who says even I'm struggling to pick a hole in this team the team's not that good like it's not that OP. Um, so 
let's encourage them to start off with. Um, sometimes firing them up has like a a negative effect for some reason. But not too many big chances. File getting early shots in, though not getting them on target. So it's not been a great opening half an hour. It's really not been great. Come on lads. Can we create something here? See I don't wanna do I don't wanna shout too much yet. Right, so half time, I think I'm just gonna encourage the lads still. I'm not gonna change too much yet. We're doing alright. We're in the game. Here we go, Stacy. Finds Russell! Oh What a chance. What a chance that was. Russell almost I'm doing a job there. I think what yeah Watson is gonna have to come off. Um what I'm actually gonna do is give it another chance to the youngster. Skull's beard. He's gonna come on. So this'll be interesting. Um he gets another chance. Yes, I haven't brought um, my strongest team. I can whip that in. <sighs> Elston. Mate. Mate, right. Do, do we want to go for this, lads? I think we do. So you know what? You know what? Agnew off, Bickley on, and then Griffiths on for Kane as well. And then I'm going to tell the lads in a minute to actually just go for it. Play positive and tell them, you know, just, um, you know, I'm going to demand a wee bit more now. You know, 84 minutes gone, 85, you know. Please don't throw it away now. Don't throw it away now. See, they're getting the final chances. Don't like it. Don't like it. Thankfully, Pearson has it. Like, Pearson, what are you doing? You've just give that away. Like, you didn't need to do that. We've survived here, but... Is this, I'm not sure if this is going to go into extra time or if it's going to be a second leg. Um, I'm not sure what the crack is going to be. If, I mean, I don't want to speak too soon because we are coming under a lot of pressure here. Oh my days. We will actually be lucky now if we don't concede here right at the end. Like, that's just... Them goal kicks are going nowhere. Oh, it's a penalty. You're joking. Oh, my word. Lads, come on. That is so disappointing. I mean, like, look at the stats. They had 22 shots. We had seven, but... Oh, we were in it for so long. And then... To give away a penalty at the end. That was so stupid. That just didn't need to happen, lads. Didn't need to happen at all. And our time in the FA Trophy is over. Um... That is, that's really annoying to go down late, you know. Um, it seems like Farsley have near enough done the same. Um, they've gone through. Oh, like, 
94th minute penalty. You couldn't write it, lads. But lads, that is it for today's episode. Disappointing way to go out of the FA Trophy. It has to be said. Um, so our next game will be Boston United, who are second. Um, we will be playing that one over on stream. We stream the AG Cousins Football Manager save every Friday and Saturday night. Twitch.tv forward slash Joshua underscore Gibson 8. If you want to come over and watch us live going through, that's where we go through most of the um, the career. The, these videos are kind of just recap videos to just so that you know here, this is basically what happened in, on stream in a short 20, 30 minute video. But if you do want to actually go back and see any of the streams that have happened, there is a playlist on my ch on my Twitch channel, um, Edgy Cousins Football Manager 2021. You'll be able to find it and go back and see what's happened in those streams. But that is it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you next time, guys. Cheers.